Well, g'day everyone, and welcome to this week's vlog. Coming to you from the Blackwood River, not far out of a little place called Boyup Brook in Western Australia. And you can see we camped over here. And the reason we camped here is the river itself, as you can see. And uh, it's a lovely little spot. We've camped here before. And this time, this well, this vlog will be over uh, three or four days because we've been here a few days and um, we might be here a few more. Such a lovely spot. And the great thing is we've got it all to ourselves. Even better. Anyway, let me... Uh, Show you around a little bit. So our little camp here and first composition is virtually right out the door, right here. I love the way the paper barks are lighting up with the sun from behind. So we're going to get a shot. Now you can see that's a little bit, uh, a little bit bright in spots and a little bit dark in spots. So the best way to overcome that is to do a good old bracket. Bracketing is a wonderful thing. So one stop over, one stop under, and one stop in the middle, or zero stops. So we'll just focus the, the shot. It's looking pretty good. I like to check a few areas on the screen to make sure it's in focus. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. So, F11, ISO 100, starting at 40, well, the overexpose is 1 45th of a second. Two second timer. And the job's done. And we'll show you that one very shortly. Every now and then, Joanne has a great idea. And you can probably guess what it is. See that my camera's set up in front of this hole in the tree. But she specifically wanted a hole in the tree with that tree in the background, which when you look at it, she reckons looks like a bird of paradise plant or flower. Anyway, we'll take the shot and we'll have a look. It's going to be a little bit involved, it's going to need some bracketing, it's going to need a little bit of uh, far focus and close focus and joining in either Facebook or uh, Facebook, in, uh, in either Photoshop or Lightroom. But anyway, well let's go through the process and get the shot and we'll 
see how it comes out. Okay, so we're set up for the shot for the focusing on the tree on the far side there. You can see it's focused up there. Oop, there we go. So, F11, ISO 100, 1, 125th of a second, two second timer. And that's the tree in the background. Now, here's where we have a little bit of fun. So we bracket this, we'll do one stop either side, and then we'll bring, bring the focus point down to here, onto the tree in front of us. And we'll focus that up. One stop over, one stop under. 60th of a second starting. And we'll join those two together and see what we get. Once again, another little composition. That far from home. All right, so here's another one of Joanne's uh, compositions. She's quite good at finding these and uh, a handy tool to have in the tool bag is the, the ability to see things like this, the relationship between this tree here and her um, bird of paradise tree down the back there. So what I've done is compiled a, put a composition together like so. I've got the Got the long lens on and I'm at, uh, oh, I don't know, about 80, 90 mil or something like that. And uh, half a stop over on each. Half stop under, half a stop over. The drawback with this shot is plain blue skies. Could do with some clouds, but we had clouds this morning. The place was covered in them. And then the sun just burnt it all away. And as you can see, I'm not far from home still. There's the tree with the uh, hole in the, the middle. And this is where I am for this one. So half a stop over, half a stop under. Focus on the tree in the back with F11. Really need to use my remote control on this because the long lens any movement of the camera has exaggerated and two seconds is probably not quite enough to let the uh, camera settle down. But anyway, we'll see how we went. And uh, we're camped just down this little track here. And I'll show you the campsite a little bit later. And uh, I found this little composition that I've been looking at opposite our camp. And I thought I'd give it a crack. Just as the sun goes down, I'll try and get some uh, highlights on the um, old trees. And uh, some shadows and reflections. Okay, so here's my composition and uh, trying to get reflections of uh, the trees, dead and alive, in, uh, in the water. And I really need to uh, change that composition slightly and put it more, have a little bit more in the centre. Something... Along those lines. 
Okay, so it's going to be a bracketed shot because of the dynamic range. I'm just going to do a um, half a stop over either side. F8, 60th of a second, ISO 100, three shots. And there's the overexposed, there's the supposed normal, and there's the overexposed. We'll put them together and see what we got. And earlier on I did some, uh, well I put some filters on and uh, did some long exposures to smooth that water out but just looking at it now I don't really need to because it's beautiful and calm. Hardly any wind. Earlier today we, uh, when we arrived we had um, speed boats on here going up and down the river towing people, having a great time. And now that they've all left and gone home we've got the place to ourselves. Okay, so our last evening at Ulan Crossing and uh, no clouds in the sky today. I thought there was going to be plenty this morning because the place was covered in them. Um, but they've all gone away this afternoon. We've uh, enjoyed an afternoon watching the ski boats and uh, people skiing, having a great time. They've all departed and the uh, river, as you can see, is now... Very quiet, except for a couple of kids down there who have come in with their parents to camp up a little bit from where we are. So, that's Yulin Crossing. That's the uh, the vlog for this week. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed the views and uh, the photos. And of course, if you have, we'd, uh, we'd really highly appreciate a, a thumbs up, a like, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you uh if you want to see more and if you do subscribe please don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when we upload our next video so in the meantime from Yulin crossing in southwestern australia thanks for watching